So I thought as a treat, me and him could have tea in the pub. What do you think? Cool. Good. Do you want to bring Sarah? Uh, no, thanks. I'm supposed to be taking a swim in. Dad should be here in a minute to pick me up if he ever gets here. Mum! Just hang on a minute, love. So you've not heard anything then? What's that answering his phone? Mm. Mum! Yes, what? Can I have an ice cream for after? Only the best for my brave little boy. Now, look, I want to have a word with Debs. Just go and have a kick about with that. Just two minutes. OK. He seems a lot better. Yeah, he'll get over it in time. Yeah, well, he shouldn't have to, really, should he? Oh, finally! Sorry I'm late. Come in. Yes. Any news? Hey. You were all dog the bounty hunter this morning, going after Dennis. Oh, yeah, yeah. I caught with him. We've had words. And was it him? Well, who else was it going to be? Don't worry. Compensation is going to be forthcoming. He's paying. How much? Enough to make it all worth your while. OK. Come on. Debbie! I've broken down up by the factory. I'm supposed to be picking TJ up. Oh. Ryan, little job for you. It's a bit late, isn't it? It's urgent. Never mind how late it is. You have got hours to make up. Chop, chop. All right. Thanks. Right, it's all go. Well, I'll just make sure you find out what we're getting. Mm -hmm. See ya. <laughs> Bye. 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 Come on, darling. So what's all this? <laughs> Don't usually see somebody of Sir's calibre in this establishment. What? Just saying, you're too classy for a place like this. I'm not. <laughs> well, it's good to know. Mum's gonna get me a special treat. <gasps> a special... Oh, oh, no, I've not missed his birthday, have I? No. Although, there was a time when we thought it might be your responsibility to stump up for the presents, as opposed to Chris and Kane. You do remember? Oh, period best glossed over, don't you? How time flies. So, what am I getting you? Sausage and chips, mm -hmm. and I'll have the chilli. And a chocolate ice cream for after. <gasps> of course. Boom! <coughs> Consider it done. So, how are you feeling, little man? After yesterday? You mean the bad man? Yeah. They were scary. Yeah, they were. But listen, you don't have to worry, because they are not coming back, not ever. So it's best if we just forget all about them, all right? OK. Remember yesterday? All right, so we're not going to forget about them just yet. Fine, OK. Go on. Why didn't Kane let us out? You what, love? After the robbers went. Because Kane wasn't there, you little monkey. He was? No, darling, he wasn't. I saw him. When we're tied up, I saw him through the window. Sweetheart, you sure you're not confusing Kane with Carl? Mum! No, I know, it's just... Well, Carl was the one who came and found us. You remember that, do you? It's before that. I saw Kane through the window. Look, darling, I need you to be really clear for me about this, all right? So you saw Kane through the window of the van before Carl came and found us? Yeah. Right. Oh, right. Hey. It's not half bad, is that, mate? Thanks. You want a brew? No, Tal. Right, Sonny Jim, come on. Time you got ready for bed. Come on. Oh, no. Put your pen down. Say goodnight to Kane. Night, Kate. Night, mate. It's a bit early, isn't it? You need to sleep. Back at school tomorrow. Besides, I uh, wanted a word. Oh? Yeah. How do I put this? Oh, yeah, I know. You lying, two-faced piece of dirt. I know what you did, and I will never forgive you. What are you going on Oh, about? please. Please don't. It's insulting to both of us. I know you were behind the robbery, but it was your mates that tied us up and terrified the life out... I didn't know, did I? I thought it was going to be Carl driving. And that makes it all right? I'm just saying it wasn't my fault. <gasps> Are you having a laugh? All right. So it didn't quite pan out. Which bit? You ripped me off. And Debbie, your own daughter. You've been lying your backside off to us about how you said it was Dennis and how you're going to sort him out. You've been pretending to be concerned about Noah. Which bit wasn't in the plan? It was a win-win deal. The only loser was going to be Nickel. If Carl hadn't put you in oh, that car... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's always those little details that go slightly wrong. Well? I'm sorry. 
Like your apology, it'd be worth anything to me. I'm going to tuck my son in and then I'm having a bath. And if I even smell you near our bedroom tonight, I swear to you, I'll make you wish you'd never been born. <laughs> 